Warning, this video and channel may not be suitable for children. Viewer discretion is advised. With that being said, I hope you enjoy. You have been warned. Alright, hello everyone, this is the official k -On Gaming HD, and welcome to Let's Play number 3 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Continuing right where we left off from the last video, let me get me a good drink of good old Lemon Lime Sprite. Wow, man that shit's good. I hope everybody's enjoying this Let's Play series, by the way, while the game loads up. I know I am. Easily one of my favorite games of all time. I just got done recording my first Let's Play video for Yakuza 7. That will be up on the channel, hopefully before, um, yeah, actually I'll be uploading that one. I'll be uploading that video before this one. I'll put a link down below in the description box to go check that out in case you haven't. Yakuza 7 is a great game and this game is also a great game as well. All the games I'm playing so far are great games. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. I am playing this out in the uh, living room on the living room TV. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look, Asher. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Well, Abigail. They got something going yeah. on at the fair in my town, because I can hear it. I don't know now. what it is. I don't know if they're racing What's or something up me? there. They're not having the demo derby, what but you? they're doing Guess something up there, because I can hear cars, you know. Your time. I, I can hear what there. sounds like You're racing. Man, John he is an idiot, Abigail. Excuse me. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water. All that stuff's going on at the, the fair. Time. I'm at home Bravo. playing good old Quiet Red Dead Redemption. Weather's breaking. We could leave. Uh, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we has in Blackwater. You fancy heading back? We there? can't go back no. there. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch. Gentlemen, he's not someone you want to mess with. To make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train We're to about rob. to piss them off. Oh dear. Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? Everyone ready? All right, All right here Let's we go. God, this game looks beautiful. Double tap to move up formation or double tap R1 to drop back. Ow, oh, hang up here, Dutch. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley 
All right. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Got it. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. All right. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. Got That's it. What we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. I don't know why I said got it for uh for Dutch's part. Oh well. Yourself, huh? Enough. After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. All right. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yes. Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Oh, I love these parts of the game. I need to get back playing Persona 5 Royale, by the way. I've been doing all these Let's Play series, and I haven't gotten back to Persona 5 Royale yet. Don't worry, that will be coming back eventually. Might be the next Let's Play video I do after uh, this one. Snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, we well almost out of the snow. Excuse me. Oh, look at you boys. See? We're almost out of the snow. This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Oh. Lenny! Sorry about bumping oh, into you, Dutch. First man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes all right. for all of you. No mistakes. Up, oh, sorry. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place mm -hmm. will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. Money shake. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Uh, Good I... money. Once we work out how to cash them. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Alright. Whoa. There's Bill. Bill. There? Yeah. You wanna head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Alright. Ah, there, Bill. Uh oh, I'm tired. Set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay. All right. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. All right. And move it over here. And all right. All right. Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. 
Okay. Stamina. 75% to level 3. Nice. Hold on. It's all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute. All right. Comes. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. And here we go. Damn it, nothing. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? I. It ain't my fault. I put the damn wire on the detonator and it won't go off. It ain't my damn fault. Then I'm gonna increase to level three. Oh shit. We lost one of our guys. All right, here you go, Lenny. Oh shit! All right, stamina increase. Where's Javier? He fell. The others will get him. You and me, big man. All right, nice takedown. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? What you got on you? 21 cents, repeater cartridges, and a gold pocket watch. Take the lead. You cover me. Okay. Take that snake over. Ooh, nice piano. Symbiotonics to fortify your bars. Fortify bar can use for a short period without drain. This tonic will fortify your dead eye bar. Shouldn't we push up? Alright. Failed. I was trying to sneak up behind him. We best get up there. Alright. Love you. Come on, let's get to the front. Alright. Will someone blow their brains out? I didn't mean to pick him up. Oh dear. Keep moving. Thanks, Lenny. Should we move up? We're moving up. Open cigarette. Uh oh. Come on. I'm going up. We have to stop this train. Ah. All right. Yeah, I'm good. What the hell was Bill doing? He had more than enough to set that charge. I don't yeah, fucking know. The wire, but we won't mention that. Uh oh. Ah. Good job, How lady. You doing there? I'm okay. If we don't stop this train soon, the other boys will never catch us. Alright. I know. Just stay calm. Shoot him, damn it! Alright.
Stop the train. Nice. Oh dear. I'm gonna get this out. Second Dutch. Oh yeah. Cigaro definitely we do. Don't have time to play games. Sorry. I love how I just smoked a cigar with a face mask on. <laughs> you too, all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What Silver are you Rumble boys money. planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake him up a little! Hell yeah! That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. Alright. Let's go blow that door open. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. All right. Seems good enough. Now, light the fuse. Here you go. Unless you got All a right. wish. We better I'm get back. back Come on, just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My, oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got up in here. Ugh. 
Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Damn. Oh, I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> Uh, you're just gonna stay got a letter here. Pour me some brandy, will you? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all Oil the company work. letter yeah, to Cornwall. Did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. From He's Leland clean. Oil Development I'll give Company. You that. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive okay. payment of two see if we two thousand dollars for the initial phase of exploration at the Wapiti uh, Indian Reservation uh, at Amberino. Getting there. As agreed in the contract between Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar, and the Leland Oil Development Company, dated November 9, 1898. That's how it's done. <laughs> Excuse me. On receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two. Bonds? I don't and think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <laughs> Give me those. Two and three of the project, and present you with a detailed report of our findings. Railroad contracts. Invoices, you know what? If you guys want to read that, go ahead. Pause the video and read it. Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Or I can go back later and Some read it. Fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not take robbing that. another boat as long as I live. And I'll take the cigar. Thank you very much. Have you we got another all one. Drawers and cabinets. Uh, read this one. Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson it? Mining Nothing Company. Much yet. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Annisburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? All right, so I. The coil industry is quite different Keep from looking. the... There must be I'll read this some other time. I'll just have to read it some other time. I'll take that brandy. On. Hold on a minute. I'll take the cigar. Nothing in there. Now, this looks like something. All right. Got some bonds. I think I got them. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> I'll take that. $25. And cigar and uh, cigarettes, excuse me. Got a horse card. Hmm. Wasn't able to look at that, unfortunately. Oh well. Let's hurry this along now. All right, hold on. All right. I wasn't able to look at that card, unfortunately. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you Thank get you. rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. All right. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Hell yeah. Wow. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. You know what? Your actions in the world impact your honor level and change how people in the world interact with you. Negative actions will make you dishonorable. Uh, I figured why the I hell not. So much as a footstep from this car. 
You'll end up like all your friends out here. Alright. Let's read these, uh... Millicent cigarettes, American paint. We got horse cards, horses card one, American paint horse, Appaloosa, Andalusian, sorry if I'm mispronouncing these names, American standard bread, Nakota, RDNAs, Dutch warm blood, Turkoman, Hungarian half breed, or half bread, Mustang, thoroughbred, Missouri foxtrotter. Alright. Let's read this. Alright. Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Ansburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. <laughs> Excuse me. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate exp expertise. I would also be delighted to host you at Annisburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, Archibald Jameson. Alright. And this one. Dear Mr. Cornwall, We are yet to receive payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation Ambarino. Uh, Ambarino. Sorry if I mispronounced that. As agreed in the contract between Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar, and the Leland Oil, De uh, Leland Oil Development Company, dated November 9, 1898. On receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases 2 and 3 of the project and present you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Yours respectfully, James Critchley? Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Head of Accounts, Leland Oil Development Company. Alright. Alright, let me get my stamina back up. Right. Yeah. Alright, that's good enough. get this train a chugging. Eastward bound. All right, here we go. So 
So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> All right, getting out of the snow. God, this game is beautiful. And I love this music. If this was a movie, this would be one of my favorite films of all time. Easily one of Rockstar Games' greatest games they've ever made. It's a damn shame that this is going to be the last game that Dan Hauser ever works on under Rockstar. I'm scared for the future of Rockstar. I really am. I don't know what their next games are going to be like without him. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure they're I don't know what the future of Rockstar is gonna be, what their games are gonna be like in the future without Dan Hauser, but I am nervous. Cause without him around, we don't know what's gonna happen. But hey, you know, if this was the last game that he's ever gonna make for Rockstar games. What a way to go out. What a damn good way to go out. One of the most beautiful, jaw-dropping games I have ever played. I'm so happy to have a PlayStation 4. Even if it's a base PS4, I don't care. Like, this game is still beautiful on the base PS4. There, <gasps> ah, shit. Ah, shit. Okay, let's take a look. Alright. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, <laughs> let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you're gonna right. hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. All you right. The wheel up. There we go. Nearly there. There we go. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Long story, Arthur. I, I, I'm not gonna get in. I, I don't really want to get into that right now. I've explained it before. All I'll say is, um, all I'll say real quick is little known fact about me. I'm actually part Native American. I'm mostly white, but I'm also, I, I think I'm like 10%, 10-15% Native American as well. My ancestors were Native Americans here in the United States. Majority of them got killed off because of the Trail of Tears. I, I'm not going to discuss it right now. It's not so, the time. Yes. 
The Indians in these parts got sold a very right. Fuck here. Andrew Jackson. Let's get going. I want to be there before nightfall. Sorry. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Mm -hmm. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. How's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Yeah. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the I fucking hate of Andrew Jackson, dude. Here. Like, the hey, fact that that president is still, me. like, worshipped to this day this baffles man, my Charles. fucking mind. That man is solely responsible for the death of millions of Native Americans. Yep. All because he wanted their land. So, Andrew Jackson was a piece of shit, side? racist, I don't even know if I have one. Uh, I'm, I'm not that I can remember. I'm not gonna say that word. My father was a colored man. I was, I was gonna say, to I'm, I'll, I'll just keep that to myself. When we were forced to move from our lands. Racist piece of shit. That's the best way I'll put it. He's a racist really piece of shit. Fuck him. All life I've been on the run. I hope the maggots are eating his fucking body raw. I hope his soul burns in the depths of fucking hell. We drifted around. Avoid becoming too hot. Make sure you wear clothes appropriate for the environment. All right. A mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur. Here. Hold on. Maybe a little older. A wild. Sorry about that, everybody. My dog. Let's continue. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune mm. and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Mm. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Away from yes, the snow? I believe so. Yes. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our All right. Place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Oh, God. Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. True. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Hmm. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. Huh. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. You acquire some herbs. These can be consumed to replenish your cores using cooking or to craft items. A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. 
pick them to learn about their properties. I better slow down. Podium update. American ginseng. I cannot say that word. The first word at the top. Anyways, American ginseng shrubs can be identified by the large palamate leaves, smooth stems, and small cluster of red berries. The cluster of berries are smaller than the clusters found on Alaskan ginseng. These plants are native to forests and moist areas, from West Elizabeth to the edges of New Hanover. This medic uh, medicinal plant can be crafted into medicine, or consumed to replenish your health core. Alright. Okay. I have zero of thirty discovered fish. The old Driscoll boys. In the form of a guide to the old Driscoll boys. Opportunists, misfits, relish in fighting, whores, and drinking. After finding success in competing for scores with Duchess Gang out in the West, the O'Driscoll boys headed to the Plains of Valentine. The gang are known for enrolling new members that are considered to be disposable. The O'Driscoll boys are renowned for, or renowned from the e, for the easy money seams, which often consist of robbing banks, looking for a fun time, and their love of whores. 11% on them, and 38 gang members killed. Damn. And a bunch of uh, undiscovered gangs. 2 of 43. Yarrow is easily recognized by their long, thin stems and red clusters of flowers. This plant can be found in grasslands and open forest areas in New Hanover and Lemonoy. Yarrow can be consumed to replenish your health core or craft it into medicine. Right. Tennessee walkers are riding horses. They can be identified by their refined head and elegant build. The red rowan, black rabacano, gold palm, uh, Palomino, chestnut, and dapple boy coats can be found in the wild. Flax and Rowan is purchasable from a stable. This breed is renowned for its, or renowned for its eye-catching tr trout and comfortable gait. They are healthy and handle well, with good stamina and speed, making them perfect for long journeys. Nice, 75% progress with my Tennessee Walker. Nice. Popular and classic sidearm, the Buck Cattleman is a great all-around revolver, featuring, I'm just looking through this stuff right now, featuring a good balance of damage, accuracy, and fire rate. Suited for close to medium range combat, this weapon can also be dual wield and used on horseback. This gun has an ammo capacity of 6 rounds that can use regular, high velocity, split point, express, and explosive revolver ammo. Alright, 53% accuracy, 13 kills, 6 headshots. Carbon repeater. A reliable and popular repeating rifle. The Buck Carbon provides medium damage and a decent firing rate with quick reload speeds thanks to the tube loaded magazine of the weapon stock. A good balanced choice for hunting and medium range combat. This gun has an ammo capacity of 7 rounds that could use regular, high velocity, spit point, express, and explosive repeater ammo. 57% accuracy, 25 kills, 5 headshots. Sawed off shotgun. The Peters and Johnson sawed off is a versatile shotgun that can be used easily with one hand or dual wielded to great effect. Rough and deadly, but wisely inaccurate. This weapon is ideal for close quarter combat on foot or on horseback. This gun has an ammo capacity of two rounds and can use regular buckshot, incendiary buckshot, or buckshot, excuse me, slug and explosive slug shotgun ammo. 36% accuracy, 5 kills, 1 headshot. Hmm. We got the bow. When used by a skill archer, the bow can be a deadly and accurate weapon of, at range, with many types of arrows able to be crafted. 
whether using small game arrows to hunt squirrels or the dynamite arrow to make a bold statement. The bow has been the weapon of choice for generations. This weapon can use regular, improved, small game, poison, fire, and dynamite arrows. 100% accuracy, 2 kills. Unarmed. Fighting with your fist can be useful when ammo is sparse, or to avoid drawing unwanted attention. It also works well when non-lethal methods are required, such as robbery or intimidation. Get up close and beat your enemies into submission, or incorporate a bladed melee weapon if you're out for blood. And a good old stick of dynamite. A powerful explosive, designed for mining and construction purposes. It can be used to clear out groups of enemies, or effectively blow up a variety of things, including mines, trains, and safes. Light and throw towards your target, or place it down before igniting and running to a safe distance. It could not be purchased from gunsmith stores, however, but some less than reputable sellers may stock this item. We got the knife. An all-purpose bowie knife with a sharp clip point blade. Steel cross guard and sturdy wooden handle. Designed for combat, this weapon can give the edge to any close quarters melee fight or be used for silent takedowns. For hunters, this is also the perfect weapon for killing and skinning animals. Remember, there are no rules in a knife fight. And that's it for that. I've already seen the cigarette cards. Zero of 90 challenges, total completion 5%. Alright, speed up a little bit. There you are, brother. Head in there, follow the track for a bit. Alright. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll Hold on, one to Okay. I got a freaking bird on my wagon. Okay, let's go. What's that up there? Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. Yeah. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Alright. Feels good to be back up here again. <laughs> 